YouTube, what's up, man? I just played an NBA 2K Pro player in Madden. This was Mutt Ultimate Team. It was the first day. I have the real game, uh, so I'm not dealing with the EA Access. I wonder if any of you guys have EA Access. Have you played Madden 20 yet? EA Access should be out for both uh, PlayStation and Xbox. Uh, hope all you guys are playing it, man. I like the game so far. Adjusting to it, it's been different. The different adjustments on defense. Uh, the speed it up clock, the, you know, the no huddle and things like that have really been uh, difficult adjusting to, and I can't wait to get to the point where I no longer have to think about that. Um, I've spent 450 bucks on my team already. Uh, it's been pretty good, so I got a good team. As you see, Patrick Peterson, my guy, Pat Pete, making a hit, making a play. If you want to watch these games live, man, you can check out my Twitch link, twitch.tv slash dub dot. Uh, so this was definitely a, a different game playing a 2K player. Been playing 2K all summer if you guys watched the stream. And uh, it was nice to actually have to play a 2K player in my field or in my game. You know, I'm tired of losing at that and, and getting beat at 2K and not being the best in the world. So any chance you get an opportunity to show these guys what it's like to go ahead and hop on the sticks of a real game, a game that takes a brain, uh, that's going to happen. As you see, Brady is my quarterback getting loose. Have time, Brady, man. I pulled him in a pack. He's just been unreal for me so far, so it's hard for me to go ahead and pick another quarterback. As you see him hit the corner route, dot right there to Stefan Diggs. Get in the end zone. I've been running a lot of tight offset. Uh, I like it so far, man. If you want to check out, we'll be dropping the ebooks soon. The link is below, maddenturf.com. You can get all the ebooks that I drop out all year, all the ebooks that Clef puts out all year, and all the ebooks that Skimble puts out all year. So you can check that out, get the premium membership, you'll get access to all of that. So we go up 7 nothing. this guy's running a lot of, trying to new RPOs, trying to run the ball, and we're just blowing it up right there as we see uh, Shaquille Griffin at slot corner, Darius Slade down there, he throws a screen out here, Anthony Barr wraps him up, chases down uh, Saquon Barkley, he punts the ball to Pat Pete. <clears throat> you guys know Pat Pete's probably my favorite corner. Right now I have Pat Pete and Jalen Ramsey at corner as we overhit Odell Beckham on the corner route. Big play. I, I like the X-Factors in this game, though. The one thing I like about the X-Factors is I get a little sticky right there with Odell. The one thing I like about it, man, it's hard to get the X-Factors. As I have Brady, I have Odell on offense, I have Bosa, Geno Atkins, Pat Pete, even Shazier on defense. And I'll tell you, I have not gotten really any X-Factor opportunities because it's hard. It's, the challenge is hard. To get three sacks with one player in, in a short game as I take a sack, right there with Brady but to take to get three sacks with one player in a game I mean you'd be surprised how that doesn't happen that often especially when I mean if you're pass rushing uh, as I throw the ball underneath the Beckham right there on the hitch your pass rushing uh, your other linemen are going to go in there and get the sacks every once in a while so it's tough to get three sacks with Bosa or three sacks with Geno Atkins and whatever it may be because it definitely gets a little tougher as I hit the dot right there to Tyreek Hill. Got to have Tyreek Hill. Pretty much one of the must-have players early in the game. With that 89 speed, he's pretty much lightning quick compared to everybody else. As we go up 14-0, I do not have an incomplete pass. This was a scum kick. You can get that on Madden Turf as well, man. Hit that link below. Check out Madden Turf is the way to go to find all your offense, defense, and special teams. As he was a little RPO slant right there. Blow up the run with Ryan Shazier. I have 90 overall Ryan Shazier. I, I, people ask me how I got him. I don't know. They just gave me pick a team captain. I picked Shazier, boosted him up with training. It probably cost about 3000 training to get him to 90 overall. But, man, to have – I believe Shazier is 86 speed. To have an 86 speed user this early in the year is really fast. I've never been a Shazier guy, but, you know, he's that much faster than even the best safeties you can put a linebacker. As we see Pat Pete trying to make a play on the kickoff, just too many Ravens jerseys chasing me down. But – we get the ball on offense. Like I said, I don't have an incompletion against this guy. Throw it underneath to Tevin Coleman. Takes a hit right there, man. Tevin Coleman. You know, after this game, I think I went and got Saquon Barkley. Wanted a little bit better running back just so I don't get hit. Can fight a little bit more. Throw a dot over there to uh, Odell Beckham. We're 11 for 11. Another laser. Stefan Diggs. Whoop! Get by him. Can I take it to the Baja? Little juke. Oh, they rally again. Almost a highlight. But... We're inside the 10-yard line. Brady, high ball dot. Zach Ertz, tight end, touchdown, spikes the ball. We go up 21 nothing going into half. This really isn't a contest, man. He just tries the screen right there. Aaron Donald was all over. He tries a little toss pitch over here to Julio Jones. Bang, wrap him up. Can't make any plays. Goes for the same toss pitch. 
boom, Jamal Adams puts him in the dirt. I have Jamal Adams, Derwin James at safety right now. Kicks off to start the second half. Patrick Peterson with the ball. A little juke. Oh, and Zach Ertz gets in my way, you know. As long as he's making a hustle play to go to the ball, I'm cool with Zach Ertz getting in my way right there. And uh, as we hit Tyreek Hill over the middle, he gets blurred right there. Jeez. Sometimes you try to catch bodies and be cute, and sometimes that happens. As we hit the corner route again, Odell Beckham really using these corner routes, really using uh, the post routes. And in doubt, I dump it off underneath to my running back. The downfield blocking is pretty good. Uh, as we see, uh, we get a block right there from one of my wide receivers. First and goal, we're going to go curl route over here to Odell Beckham. That is, I actually did have the X factor for Tom Brady right there. And I don't know if it contributed to him catching that pass, but he definitely caught a curl route in traffic. Looked a lot like Madden uh, 19 right there. Goes for another ball right as Shazier. Throws it over my head. We get over here. Throws a little RPO hitch route. Third and three. This is just ugly offense. Another RPO. It's, it's starting to aggravate me, though, but because I think the slant, you can slant, throw, snap and throw these at slants. You see him snapping and throwing at Shaquille Griffin right there. You can snap and throw these at, at zones, and the zones not react, or the zones aren't quick enough to get to the get to the passes. So for me, if you're facing RPO, as Julio Jones beats me right there, breaks the tackle RPO. What I realize, if you're facing RPO, I would love two-man under is probably the best defense because what happens is your DBs will stick to those wide receivers won't really play to run as much, and you can play to run with your user uh, linebacker. So if you're facing RPO and you're getting in trouble, I would play a lot more man coverage, really, as I take a sack right there with Brady. That's the thing about Brady. He's great at throwing the ball, throws lasers all over the field, but he's not going to go ahead and ooh, make a little play right there with Seven Coleman, jump over another man, oh, almost get that first down. But Brady will not get away from defenders. So if you're using Brady, you got to get used to staying in that pocket Throwing lasers like that to Michael Thomas. My uh, four wide receivers for this game, I believe, are Michael Thomas, Diggs, uh, Tyreek Hill, and Odell Beckham. I recently upgraded Stephon Diggs and upgraded him to Julio Jones. So my team's looking really strong right now as we hit this corner route again over here to Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, zone, I, I don't know how I feel about zones. I took a bad, that was bad pocket by me right there getting sacked by Baker. I don't know how I feel about zones. I want to say I don't like them. I don't think they're any good. We are 22 for 22 right now. 22 for 22. Go for the high ball to Beckham. He can't get his feet down. So that's my first incompletion of the game. Throw it underneath here to Stefan Diggs. Almost fights into the end zone. Third and goal on the one. We go play action high ball to Zach Ertz, man. Listen, sometimes you got to use the entire playbook. Uh, go find a little play action right there. Throw it high to Zach Ertz, the best tight end in the NFL. If you don't agree, please let me know who's the best tight end in the NFL. For me, Zach Ertz. We're going to look, going back. Now he actually gets a legal man downfield. If you run the RPOs and you, uh, and you ooh, Jamal Adams. Whew. But if you run the RPOs and you don't get rid of the ball in time, uh, your lineman will be downfield. So you will get that penalty, a legal man downfield when you pass the ball, and that's what happened to him there. He's no huddle, a little third and two action. We're going to bring Derwin in the box, try to get physical, runs the ball right up the middle. Boom, Derwin misses a tackle, but, you know, Jamal Adams there to clean him up. We got the double 33s in safety, Jamal Adams and Derwin James right there. They both just, Julio Jones got out of there. Jeez, he scored a touchdown. So the second touchdown, pretty much all RPOs. He's going for the onside kick here. Um, it's going to bounce out of bounds. Really tough to get onside kicks. As you guys know, last year, almost impossible, which is a good thing for Madden. So we throw another dot under here to Odell Beckham, and we get crushed. I felt like he missed that hit stick, and they still let him hit me, which was a little wild. Uh, throw that corner out there. Odell Beckham dropped that one. Jeez, 25 for 27. Go corner route again. Odell Beckham over the top. He has Cyprian trying to guard Odell Beckham. Hop in the end zone. Make them all look like assholes. And we're up 42 to 14. This game's over, man. 2K players, uh, it's all cute when you hop on the hardwood and, you know, you got teammates to lean on. But on Madden, you have no teammates. You got to do it all yourself. Make all the decisions on your own. That's what I love about it as he throws a pick right there to Gilmore. RPO gone wrong. Try to get out of there with Gilmore. Uh, out of bounds. So that'll tap out the game. He's going to quit after that as we see it again. Gilmore, RPO, bad timing, throws it up to Gilmore, catches the pick. I've had my DBs actually drop these picks. So that's the one thing in the first day of Madden I can go and tell you guys, 
drop picks are probably the biggest thing I don't like about Madden. So, uh, for me, I said, comment below. Do you have EA access? Are you playing the game, man? I'm really excited to keep streaming, keep bringing YouTube videos. It is Madden season, so hope you guys are all enjoying the game. I hope you guys all enjoy the videos. Hit the like button and let me know if you're playing.